so chimbakambu was live yesterday and probably some of you already saw his um his video but um i didn't uh, i didn't have enough time to uh comment on what he said so that's why i didn't post the video so uh, for those of you that didn't watch uh, this video you can actually uh, take time and listen to what he said then after that uh, i have something us. to share with you at the end of the video i will be very brief mwebe kala chalo once ndem posha this this evening konso ko mulengu mfuila ndetu mulishanu kwa I want to address my brother and I'll say former friend. I want to address my brother and former friend Jack Mwimbu. And I'll be very brief. Jack Mwimbu lekesi ya kuba boy. Uli mukala ambasa na po pelele. Wali kwata bana. Wali kwata na beshkulu. Hello foot ni wewe lawyer. And not only that, you have been in that parliament. This is your fifth year. I'll repeat. Jack Mwimbu, stop being silly. You are an elderly person. You've got children. You've got grandchildren. You are a qualified lawyer, an advocate of the high court of zambia and you've been a member of parliament for more than 20 years these credentials do not match with your pronouncements since you became minister of home affairs and today you have put the last nail on the coffin for people to know that you are a very unreasonable person unreasonable in the sense that you think zambians are very useless people who are not able to differentiate sense from nonsense or who are not able to read in between the lines jack lekefia mpuba boy uli munandi sana and i respect you a lot but i think if ya mpuba jack fia chilamu if ifia mpuba fia mpuba fia mpuba fia mpuba and stop it in the morning when i read this message from uh, uh, qfm which i am going to read now and i quote home affairs and internal security minister jack mwimbu says the purported list of opposition pf office bearers alleged allegedly from the registrar of society is flawed jack Jack, if this list is flawed, then you have failed as Minister of Home Affairs. Because this list was collected from one of the offices that you supervise, indicating the list of office bearers for PF as at yesterday, the 13th of November. If this document is flawed as you say it, as you put it yourself, then you are a flawed yourself and you must resign on moral grounds look intungulu shinga shambo kumona abantu kwati bali tumpa abantu kwati fipuwa ni shira ine ntungulu shi echipuwa echa kwatamano abena zambia tabatumpa jack mwimbu abena zambia tabatumpa first mwa mutamfia Registra mwamu funya kunchito yakwe. Mwamu chita transfer elsewhere. Because she stood firm to say that she cannot change the office bearers of the PF. Because it was illegal and that the matter was before the courts. And you think of in Zambia fipuwa sana. Immediately, ilo registra chita release under a court order. Mwamu funya mulya mu office. Mwamu twala wherever you've taken her and you think you can intimidate him and think that the people of Zambia are stupid, they don't think they are unreasonable. It is you who is unreasonable, Jack Mwimbu. That's why I've said stop it. 
Jack Nimbo. Stop it. Alors que mon avant quoi tu fais pour avoir des tumpa et tu l'enga avant tout pour na ma elections. But you PND, you are behaving exactly the way you need to behave in the last six months of losing power. You are behaving exactly the way MMD behaved in the last six months of losing power. You are behaving the same way that some PF officials behaved six months before losing power. We should go and get Musambi the lepo. Ukumonati trajectory is wrong. That's why you are Yavalanda. There are people who have been telling me, there may be just allegations, that Jack Mwimbu is a lawyer who has never won a case. That Jack Mwimbu, nanguwaipa ya lunshi, baku tuwala kukoti, kutuwa ya luso mulandu wata waipa ya lunshi. And I'm believing it. Because this statement, wapela Jack, it clearly shows that you are the people and your ministers involved in promoting the fraud, fraud, Fraud that has been uh, occasioned by Mao Sampa. Because behavior of a jack is not befitting your credentials. Like if you are a poor boy. You and I know very well that what Mao Sampa has done is wrong. Supposing that you are Mao Sampa, you are a chitike, you are a PND, you are a PND, you are a PND, you are a PND, you are Please, like any fear of the simulator, take any chalo, guys. Take any chalo following the provision of the constitution. Like any fear of the simulator. You even go on to say the registrar has not been fired, she has only been assigned to do other things. Why assign her to do other things today after she gives the true reflection of who are the office bearers? As per records at the registrar, Elo Mwamu Finiako, why have you assigned that to another job today? Tatuliba HF, Tatuliba Fipuba Jackie. Ngole Monati Abena Zambia Fipuba, they will have the last laugh. He trajectory, Muse and the gentleman, Namuseva Nakale. Speaker, Nasevana, Iwe Nausevana, Clark Nasevana, UPND as a government, Namusevana. And we know why you have quickly removed Tandiwe and taken her to Public Service Management Division. Everybody who is taken to Public Mass Management Division, they have never been redeployed. That is the exit way of anybody who is not uh, wanted by the system. We have been in government and we know these things. So, stop it. I rarely speak with strong words, but today I think the Achilamo, the Kenifia Puba. Concentrate on resolving the issues of Antwale Chula in Sala, Mutengo Abunga, Mutengo Afia, Mutengo Afia Fuala, Mutengo A Transport, Mutengo A Fuel, etc. Elo Kabidi Kabieni, go to the mining companies and make sure that you come up with policy that are going to enable the government and the people of Zambia benefit more from our natural resources like minerals. Not if you are a poor No, the list of, uh, uh, the list circulating as office bearers is flawed. Jack, Jack, are you sure? ENE, Tamuaitambe, Tamuabutunge, the people have already seen and read between the lines who you are as UPND, and who you are as Jack Mwingu in particular. Umu anakashi, mwangu tinya tandiwe, mwangu tinya, mwalimu kenye, not to allow anybody to conduct a search. And all government documents, anybody can go and do a search at any time. You just pay a fee. But you made it impossible because you knew that tandiwe refused to follow illegal instructions. And you want to replace her with a user-friendly registrar of society who would go and tell lies in court that this was the status quo. For your own information, we know we've already been told that you had a meeting where you were saying, if we allow Tondiwe, since she has been subpoenaed by the court, she will go and tell the truth. The best we can do is let's remove her from office. We put somebody who is going to help us. 
win that case. I can tell you, Jack. That subpoena is for Tandiwe, whether she's no longer registrar, but she was registrar at the time that list was produced. So she will still be subpoenaed to come and give evidence to that effect. So if you want to say that Jack Fiaupuva and Fila Kenny, Zambians don't deserve this kind of nonsense. People had a lot of trust in you, Jack Mwimbu. Every time you spoke in that parliament, you were talking about use of the police towards opposition political parties, use of the police towards uh, 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 other Zambians. Today you can even go and arrest Emmanuel Mwamba for, for just calling for protests. Protests are provided for in the constitution as long as you follow the due process of the law. If you want to do a protest, you go and get a, you notify the police. When you notify the police, you take an undertaking that the protest will be civil, will not be, will not generate into chaos. Moyai kato mundwat seditious, sedition. Come on, gentlemen, please. Mule iseba ni afifu mule chita. Alale sangale fukufuni haba ntupa mipando. Alabalo ich life. When God wants to show people who you are and remove you from position of authority, he first makes you mad. At the moment, by you PND na mupena. Mwema leaders by you PND ba mo. Some of you leaders of, uh, and mulele tele la you PND. Because if you mule chita, even many of your members are against what you are doing. A lot of your members are saying, ah, if you know mba fia wupuba. Jack, leke fia wupuba. You cannot be umuntu alu to just because you want to destroy PF and show that Mao Sampa is the president of, 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 of the PF. I told you even last time, I experienced this. When he said he's the owner of NDC, he went and tried to change the documents when the matter was in court. Tandiwe refused. MMD, when they were factions, they were in court. Some of, one of the parties tried to go, she refused. In the Ari Kalaba case, people tried to change, she refused. That's the nature of Tandiwe. And I think Tandiwe must be congratulated, must be held as a, as a hero in this country for refusing to follow uh, bad instructions. Number you were Jackie, you were Jackie, you were Jackie, you were Jackie, Jackie. Le kefia upuba boy. Le kefia upuba. This all issue end in tears. So you want to monitor when a Zambia tabeshi with a mutam fish at Andiwe. So you want to monitor when a Zambia tabeshi, but the list is genuine. It was given to us under oath by the registrar. And no matter what you are going to do at Mwesho Kute Mingalato, Palape is the president, Wesu, president when you are PND, I will let you to Ambe Mingalato, Abena Zambia Badi Shiva, Fionse Fiomlechita, Nabe Shiva to Mingalato. And on Mwaba Amacha Sana Imwe. You are amateurs in politics because everything that you do, even a chicken, can see at if you are let you you are destroying politics. Stop it. You will not be in power forever. Jack Mwimbu. Ule iseva niafie. Echo wakwewe la wantu ati. Tawi inapo mlangu. Nangu waipa ya felu nishi. Jack kutuwa ya muino mlangu. Atase ifia wupuba. Good night. Atase ifia wupuba. Ata pipi. Good night. Uh, Jack Mwimbu. So, Home Affairs Minister Jack Mwimbu's press brief press briefing. I feel it was a joke. To me, that press briefing was a joke. And I think that is an insult to the Zambian people. It's like um, trying to make a fool of to make a fool out of the Zambian people because how can you um come out in public 
and say that um, what is happening uh, in the office, what happened in the sec in the office of registrar is a coincidence. That is a joke, a very big joke. I mean, every everybody knows the connection um, to why you are transferring, why you transferred the the lady from that office. It's it has not, it is not a coincidence. Everybody knows that. So if truly you are telling the people of Zambia the truth. Why are you not saying the exact reason why you are transferring her from that office? Why are you not telling the truth why you are transferring that lady from that office? Because we all know that that is not a coincidence. It is a big lie. And I don't know who will come out and uh, say that they believe you. Only if maybe if they are typical UPND supporters, yeah, for p typical UPND supporters, even though they know it deep down their hearts that tr the, the transferring of that lady from that office is not a coincidence. But anyway, they will still come and say that uh, it is a coincidence they will agree with you. But for me, I don't buy it. That is a big lie. And I think that is just making a fool out of people who, who already know that, that, that there's no way that that is a coincidence. A coincidence. We know it is connected here. So, come to think of it, you say, he said that the, the do, that document that was secured, the securing was fraud. So, since it was fraud, for him to to come out on the on, on public and address the media, it means he had already uh, investigated the situation. He had uh, all the necessary information with him at hand. So, why didn't he come with the exact documents showing? The, the the actual facts and show it to the public that this is fraud here is the true the true document why didn't he show us that if there is any other document because what that lady produced what is what the the, the office of uh, registrar had and that was the document that the, the office of registrar had so if there was any other document if if the document she produced to the public was fraud, if, the, if that document was fraud, why have they not showed us the original document then? Why not? So, please, I thought the UPND are better than this. They, I thought the UPND were better than this. I thought the UPND were better than this. They are just, why are you trying to play cheap politics here? Why are you trying to play cheap politics? Me, I'm one person who is not who has never been a fan of the the PF, but it's like you are making the PF and uh, the UPN. They have started making themselves look so little by trying to uh, destroy or dent the good name that they've always had over PF. Trust me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. De uh, denting your names. Over PF, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. If you look at the 2021 elections, ECO lost by a very, very, very big margin. So, after that election, it was very much clear that you guys did not even need to stress yourself over PF. You were just supposed to focus on delivering whatever you promised the people of Zambia. And once, once you do that, you are good to go. You were, it was it was it was you were definitely guaranteed another term in 2026 it was as simple as that so why are you trying to dent your names over the patriotic front that the people had already rejected why are you trying to do this why are you trying to play cheap politics you're supposed to be better than this why are you doing the exact same things that the pf were doing why anyway let me know what you think about uh, Chimbaka Mwiri's speech and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as turn on the notification button. I'll see you in the next video.